Okay, uh, the first thing you want to do is connect to the mission panel. I'm using the telemetry radio, so I don't have any cables. But you want to go to your full parameters list and make sure your AHRS orientation matches the orientation of your autopilot. That's installed. In my case, it's orientation 6, which is your 270 degrees. You also want to go ahead and disconnect your external compass. So once you've done that, you can go into initial setup compass and see external compass is used. So use this compass, sorry. You can head over to flight data, click on this button here, tune. Double click on it and select MX. M is for the compass number one and X axis. So you can see it's generating some data. I'll give it a spin. It will change direction. So just note the direction. So if you spin it clockwise and climbs and then gets to 180 degrees and then drops. And you can also if you double click it again and then just check the Y axis and do it again. Just make a note of which direction it travels as you rotate it. Okay. What you want to do is go ahead and plug in your external compass. Satellites back and GPS. You head back into the Prouders and look for Compass. You'll see Compass External equals 1, which is detected on the Pixel HK Pilot, is detected that it's got an external compass. Now, what I found on this is that. When it detects the external compass, the internal compass moves to compass number two. So when you're doing your calibration, you'll see both windows moving and why not? It's so compass two is the internal, compass one is the external. So yes, so what I do next is go to flight data, back to tuning, and tick on. MX and MX2, which is the second compass. So MX is the external compass, MX2 is the internal compass now. Let's reset the scale of the fault. So you'll notice, it's been it. It's looking good so far. They should move in the same direction, they shouldn't cross over. Whoops, there we go. So now they've crossed over. So the autopilot's going to have a hell of a time trying to figure out what is what. Yeah. And they crossed over here. We'll do the same for the y axis. So now it's had a diverging. They're converging. They're converging in and crossed over. So what you want is them both to move in the same direction. Now 
I guess you could sit there and work it out. In my case, I just test it until I got them both moving, all, all of them moving in the same direction. In my case, I'm using a Ublox Neo 8MN. Now, online, I've read that it's going to be Roll 180. Looking at the photos, it looks like it should be Roll 180 or 270, but in the end, all I need to do was just select your 270, and then you've got a reboot I found between this. No, uh, maybe not. Yeah. Test that. Yeah. They should all move in the same direction now. So this is what you're aiming for. So I guess you could trial and error it until you get an axis moving in the same direction if this thing would just scale properly. I guess it also helps if you turn on your update rate and uh, make it higher, you know, 10 or something, and it just speeds up data coming into the mission plan. See, they're moving in the same direction. And if the aircraft is rotating. Can do the Z axis if you like. I need to check it. It. And then off to do your calibration and your initial setup, compass, do your live calibration, and then you should be good to go.